close your eyes, focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Feel it as it goes through the body. Because the breath is not just the air coming in and out through the nose. There's an energy flow in the body that allows the air to come in and go out. You can feel that in different parts of the body. It's clear in the chest, in the abdomen. But some people can feel it in other parts of the body as well. So wherever you feel it, focus your attention there. And then ask yourself if it's comfortable. If it is, continue breathing the way you are. If it's not comfortable, you can change. You can make the breath longer or shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. You're trying to anchor the mind here in the present moment. And the best way to anchor it is, one, to provide it with some comfort, and two, to provide it with something to explore. Because as the Buddha taught, the reason we suffer in life is not because of things outside, it's because of our lack of skill in our own mind. So you want to be able to watch your mind to see what it's doing. You have to watch it here in the present moment so the breath gives you a good place to stay. It's right near the mind. And it gives you a good foundation. Because you want to know what the mind is doing. To see where inside the mind decisions are being made that are actually not good for you. It's like running a corporation. You may be in charge of the corporation, but you don't know what everybody in the corporation is doing at any particular time. Sometimes decisions are being made that are not in your best interest. And if you don't pay careful attention, you start going on automatic pilot. And your old habits kick in. And as the Buddha said, our old habits are what? Craving, clinging, things that are pretty blind. Things we like, but they may not be good for us. So you have to be able to watch your mind and step back from your clinging, step back from your cravings and ask yourself, what are the results of your movements of the mind? Some movements of the mind actually lead to happiness, others don't. You want to be able to sort them out. It's all happening right here, but for the most part our attention is someplace else. Most, many of us live in our screens more than we live in our own minds now. It's time to reclaim the mind as your territory. Because that's where the really important decisions are being made. The media tell us that the dis important decisions in life are things that other people are doing someplace else. But the Buddha teaches us that the important things in your life are the things you're doing right here, right now. So he gives importance to your actions. So you should give some importance to them too. Focus right here. So you understand what's going on. As you develop this ability to be in the present and observe your own mind. You find that you can stop unskillful thoughts, encourage skillful thoughts, because you're right there where they're happening. And that way you gain more control over your life. We live in a world where a lot of things are not in, under our control. And if we leave our own lives to automatic pilot, what do we have? But if we decide that we're going to take control, we're going to look and listen, watch carefully, so our control is skillful control, then we have the opportunity for really being happy in this lifetime. So take some time every day to get to know your mind, and it will repay you many times over.